Whilst it might not have been the prettiest of kits, there's no denying that Mappe is symbolic of road racing in the 90s. The list of riders who rode for Mappe is like a who's who of cycling from that era. The team is often referred to as the best of all time, taking 653 victories between 1993 and 2002. Rock Racing was founded by Rock and Republic founder Michael Bull back in 2007. A number of riders with more than dubious reputations rode for the team. Their team kit didn't please traditionalists, but the in-your-face bad boy livery and regular tweaks to the design grabbed the fans' attention and was possibly the only kit ever to appeal to fashionable teenagers. One of the longer running teams in pro cycling, Maltini ran from 1958 all the way through to 1976. None other than Eddie Merckx, who won pretty much all there is to win in the sport, rode for the team for six of his most successful years from 1971. The simplistic design of the jersey didn't change much over the years, adding to its recognisability, and it's recently become popular again with retro kit becoming de rigueur in the cycling community the world over. A team which ran in the 70s and 80s and specialised in classics racing with riders such as Roger de Vlamic, who won four Paris-Roubaix. The jersey really stood out in the peloton with its blue design and red and white stripes. Like Maltini, the Brooklyn chewing gum jersey is once again selling well in specialist outlets. The Celeste Blue of Bianchi Bikes and Kit is one of the most recognisable images of cycling. Bianchi themselves first became headline sponsor of a team back in 1899 and made its last return in 2003 when Jan Ulrich rode for them at the Tour de France in a very similar kit design to that worn by Fausto Coppi in the 40s and 50s. Zed Vetement headlined a team from 1987 to 1992. The blue, yellow and pink design almost looked like something out of a comic book and in 1990 superhero Greg LeMond joined the team and went on to win his third Tour de France title that same year. Whilst this is another jersey which is coming back into fashion, one of our GCN team actually spotted Robert Miller out training in the original one less than a year ago. Another 80s design, the Labu Claire cycling team started in 1984 and its kit was originally designed by Benetton and based on the artwork of Pierre Mondrian. Another of Greg LeMond's former teams, the 1985 Tour became famous for the rivalry between he and then teammate Bernard Hinault. There wasn't much that the TI Rally team didn't win in their 10 years sponsoring a bike team, with Joop Zotemelk's 1980 Tour de France win being the highlight. Whilst it was a Dutch team, the main sponsors were British bike manufacturer Rally and its holding company Tube Investments. Team Onse were widely regarded as the stage race team of the 90s, and their distinctive yellow jerseys were often seen dominating the front of the peloton, especially in week-long races in the Vuelta España, riding for the likes of Alex Zula, Laurent Jalabert and Joseba Balocchi. With ASO rules stating that team kit cannot be too similar to the Mayo Jean in the Tour de France, Onse used a different design each July, sometimes simply changing the yellow for pink. Without the Seiko coffee machine sponsorship and jersey design, we'd never have seen the red train of the 90s which propelled Mario Cipollini to so many victories. Not only was the kit stylish, it was also one of the first teams to provide each rider with individually fitted jerseys. Cipollini often brought his flamboyant personality to the kit, donning a number of unique designs over the years, including a tiger skin suit design at the Giro and a Roman Conqueror special in the 99 Tour de France. The Xiaomi is designed for this purpose with your comfort in mind. Remember though, this means that you should end Don't make the mistake of getting lost though, or underestimating how long a route is going to take, or you could